I'm one of your hosts, Josh Sardom. No, I'm Mishalash. And today we have in house the great, the amazing. This guy is the <laughs> <laughs> the roast master extreme. Over Facts. sixty sixty thousand followers on Instagram. Oh, yeah. This guy's killing it everywhere he goes. Welcome to the show, Larry Starks. Appreciate it, guys. Appreciate y'all having me. What's up, man? What's up, y'all? Man, I tell you what, it, it, we've been dying trying to get you on the show for months now. I know, man. You're I too mean, famous like, for us. Oh, <laughs> man, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, it's just, uh, you know, we've worked together. As a matter of fact, we've got a show tomorrow together. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's always a privilege being around you, man. And uh, I tell you, you, uh, you really hit this, uh, this town by storm. You, you were like one of the first like social media guys around here that that really pumped it up on social media all the rest of these guys yeah. aren't as big as you are on social media yeah I've, I've been i mean actually looking back at it i've been at it for a long time and i didn't even realize it like that shows that i was just kind of doing it out of the love you know what i mean yeah i, I really wasn't paying attention to the time frame and then i look back like oh snap like <laughs> we here you know what i mean like right so and it was just it, like i said it was just out of fun and uh i started seeing the growth come out of it and i started hitting it full steam it, it was all systems go right? now uh, of the stuff that you put on your instagram what do you think is like the most popular stuff that you do just your rants or um as far as popular it whatever's well, trending whatever's well, yeah. trending because um that's where you get kind of the new the new population of of followers and likes so if you kind of give your take on what's trending and it's funny enough a lot of people like it yeah and they end up following you and you just gain more so yeah so it's your it's actually your youtube channel right that's yeah, the YouTube. popular or the Starks TV. Yeah, my, my YouTube, um, I did well on a lot of social media platforms. Uh, the YouTube, I got almost 69,000 subscribers. Right. Damn. My Instagram, I got, uh, I had uh, 22.7 thousand. Wow. And uh, in January, that just recently got deleted. I don't know why I'm still trying to get it back. So I'm starting over from scratch <laughs> on that one. But did we ever figure out who the asshole was that did that to you? Nah, I don't have a clue. It just happened. And, and you know, you just... That's the thing about Instagram. You just got to kind of figure it out. And uh, they got they got emails and stuff you can send it to, but it's kind of throwing a rock in the pond, you know what I mean? So yeah. it's just like every once in a while I throw a rock in the pond. Hopefully somebody might see it. If not, I got to keep it moving, keep it going, you know what I mean? So, yeah. And uh, my, my, my Facebook, uh, my regular Facebook page, um, you know, you max out at 5,000 friends. Right. And I think I just hit – uh, five thousand friends and seventeen thousand followers. Damn, on Facebook. You don't yeah. actually have a fan page though. Yeah, I got a fan page oh, okay. too, but it's just the metrics are different. Like you know, notifications wise, you don't really get notifications on a fan page. Exactly. Just like you would do on a uh, on a personal page, and I actually get more of a response off of what I do from my personal page. Mm -hmm. So I just kind of just post it on all of them because it's eyes everywhere. So why not? You know what yeah. I mean? So and my per and my fan page, it got um. 69, 69,000. Very nice. Uh, likes, yep. So do you actually think one day I'll be flipping through cable and will actually be a Starks TV? I mean, hey, if it's possible, I mean, if they come with a, uh, you know I mean, a, a two free oil changes, and there uh, you go. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, you never know, man. That'd be the day. You never know, it's man. It's going to happen. It's, uh, gonna it's, happen. All, it's so. all for the growth, man. I mean, at, at one point, I mean, we all learning in this game, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, I think at one point you you actually realize that it goes beyond us. You know what I mean? Like like y'all doing this podcast, y'all do it because y'all enjoy talking. Right. But oh, at yeah. the same time, that gives us avenues mm -hmm. to people that we've never saw before, you sure. know, or never saw us. Right. right. And I think like if one of us was to make it and we represent Kentucky in a whole and we go and tour somewhere, 
then we getting exposed to a whole different genre of people that never really would have saw us. True. So Absolutely. I think we just all in it for each other, man. You know, it's a new purpose out here. No, I agree. I agree. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. So, Colts fan? Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah, man. That's my dog, man. That's my team. Uh, for real? Yeah. Oh, man, fist bump on that one, man. <laughs> What's your team, is? I'm a Bears fan. <laughs> What's your team, is? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> It's better than being a Bengals fan around here. Or a yeah, Browns fan. Yeah. Or a Browns Ooh, fan. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. rough. Yeah, that's, that's – uh, they they all come with a therapist. You know, the, uh, every fan gets a free therapy <laughs> it's, session. It's issued. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of the membership program. <laughs> free parking, hot dogs, and therapy sessions. Oh, uh, yeah, man. <laughs> but, you know, it was – a great experience for me was I was actually in Indianapolis for the Crossroads Comedy Festival. Uh-huh. I got selected for that, and that was the same Sunday that they unveiled that statue. Oh, okay. And Peyton Manning was there, and I actually went to the game just for that. Yeah. And oh, during the cool. halftime speech and everything, and then I left at halftime. The game was a shit fest. They were yeah. playing 49ers at the time. but Yeah, it was probably awful. It was just great luck, you know. I got yeah. some tickets, and yeah. I said, heck, this is something I always remember. You know, so man. It was awesome. Crazy enough, I went to the RCA Dome, mm-hmm. um, but I still haven't been inside Lucas Oil Stadium. Because, really? Because, one, my kids are getting older now, and they won't allow me to go alone. So yeah, yeah. I got to, you know, <laughs> save this uh, $4 million to take my kids exactly. to the game. <laughs> right. Get some high seats, you know what I mean? So, um, but, yeah, I, the coach is my squad, man. Um, yeah. um I, I was a bit, before I even really knew who Peyton Manning was, I was a bigger fan of Edge and James. I got gotcha. you. You know, mm-hmm. like kind of the underdog, the you know, the, the typical guy that's not supposed to make it, you know what I mean? Right. And that kind of intrigued me. And ever since then, it's, that's, that's been my squad, man. Yeah. That's no, awesome. I, I, I've been a fan of theirs uh, since probably mid-'80s or so. Okay. Um, I absolutely love the Colts. And it's funny because I'm from the Northeast. I'm supposed to be a Patriots fan, but I'm not. <laughs> Hate the Patriots. Hate them. Me too. Yeah. Because <laughs> me too. We got something in common. Yeah. <laughs> Throw rocks together. There we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about, uh, you know, Philly wins the, the Super Bowl mm-hmm. and Philadelphians are like tearing the city down? What do you, what's your take on that? Well, um, one, I'm glad the Philly won and, and the Patriots didn't. Right. Um, I was rooting on the Patriots to lose the entire playoffs. Uh, <laughs> even on the bye week, I wanted them to lose like somehow. Yeah, right. Uh, but, Philly, Philly doing that, man, it's just um, – I don't know why they did it. I thought it was pretty crazy myself. Um, but that goes to show that you can't isolate rowdy crowds. No. You know, they try to isolate it to Kentucky. You know, they try to put it um, – you know, with all the, the, the police violence and everything, they try to put it on, you know, certain certain demographics. And it's like, no, everybody gets rowdy. Everybody gets right. excited. And it kind of goes, you know, all the way off the chain. And I think it was – I think Phillies was the most funniest. I thought it was the most funniest. Some uh, dumbass shit that yes, they showed. Yes. Some real dumbass shit. Yes. I, I thought that was hilarious when they was on the awning. <laughs> and uh, dude, dude fell off the awning. And everybody thought he was dead. And he just popped up like, yay! And everybody just celebrated. That, I watched that 500 times. Oh, man, that was great. They, they tore down everything. People was hanging from poles. and They, they seem so mad. It's like, you won. Why are you so mad? <laughs> Turned over I think it's just the yeah. culture of the city. It, it really it, is. It is. Yeah, I mean, aggressive. It, and it's if, aggressive. Yeah. God help you if you were wearing a Patriots jersey or anything. Because they, uh, they would kill you. I guarantee the city of Philadelphia will make sure that they do not win another Super Bowl for at least the next <laughs> five to six years just for financial reasons, man. They, right. We can't afford it. Yeah, <laughs> man. It. They tore that city apart, man. It's crazy. Uh, so what are some of the big uh, the hot button topics you've been talking about lately? Um, here lately what I've been talking about, um, um, I've just kind of been looking at social media different here lately. I What's noticed. That? One thing that I've noticed, no matter who it is that's posting anything or, you know, just somebody that's posting something that's doing a lot of numbers. Yeah. No matter what it's about, it's always somebody on there that doesn't like what's going on in the video. Mm-hmm. And they voice it and it's kind of, I still haven't figured it out yet. Like, I've been a victim of uh, my content. Sometimes I come across brash or harsh. It's all in good fun. We all know that. You know what I mean? Right. It's oh, all yeah. in good fun. But... I've I've been a victim of people going the extra mile trying to get my stuff deleted. I'm on Instagram, for example. Oh yeah. Um, 
my my Instagram has been um, they tried to delete that. I, it's been reported plenty of times. My Facebook's been reported. I've been suspended. I don't know how many times on Facebook, and it be stuff that I don't even know why they. It just happens. <laughs> it just I log in and just like sign in and it's like what you know like, <laughs> but uh, it, it boggles me that people get online. And they will, it'll be something like uh, Man Saves Baby Giraffe in Ice Pond. <laughs> right. And instead of being like, hey, a life was saved, people's like, the giraffe didn't have no business out there anyway. I don't understand. <laughs> See with my kids. And it's like, what? What the fuck are y'all talking about? Like, right. I, I don't get it. Yeah. And I mean, and I started testing myself. I said, everything, and y'all can do the same thing. If you see, um, if you see a post, like, any, it could be anything, all dev digital, CNN, MSNBC, anything, whatever they posting about, I guarantee you go on there and it is at least five to six people that have 50 paragraph comments <laughs> that are spewing anger the whole entire time. I don't, I don't get it. I do not get it. That's, that's what I'm checking out right now. I just, yeah, I, that doesn't make any, I, it makes no sense. Um, and I've seen that. I, I know yeah. exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, people getting mad. It's it's like you, you know you, you post like a feel good message. Like, man, uh, like I had this one time. Where, you know all those uh, those messages where it says, you know, some something positive and inspirational at the bottom. It says hit like if you agree. You yeah. know, and a, this guy started arguing with me about, man, you're better than that. I'm like, better than what? You're pandering for likes. What the <laughs> fuck are you talking about pandering <laughs> for likes? Man, that's that's what they do, man. That that's and it it. it it boggles me. And what I started to do, what I learned, I learned this some years ago, is to take advantage of the moment. Because a lot of times I might post a video, right? Yeah. The video does well. It's getting 500, 600 comments. It got thousands of likes, 200,000 views. You know, it's going right. crazy. And then somebody gets on there, this guy's an asshole. This guy's a stupid ass. And it's like, okay, why you feel that way? And then they have a dumb response, right? And I take advantage of it, you and I them. just roast them into oblivion. Right. It's like now that's a joke within the joke, right? I win twice. Yep, you win none. You know, we all good. So I try to use it to my advantage now. You know what I mean? And I, I started screenshotting it like as a documentation of me clapping back on people and catching them. You know what I mean? Where they like basically you thinking just because of social media and a lot of these celebrity guys don't respond to people. I'm like. I'm not a celebrity guy. I got a four for take gas in my car, and I will respond to you because right. I got time. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, right? so, that's, that's me. You know what I mean? Right. So that's how that's how I approach it. You know. I, so I tell you, some some days I have been absolutely entertained for hours on end just reading the comments that someone will say to you, and then you just it's like batter up. Or yeah. You just knock yeah. the shit out the park. I, I don't I don't give them a chance, man, because they one they don't expect it. A lot mm -hmm. of times it's somebody that really doesn't know my page, right? And they don't expect it. And then I just go in. It's been times I've went in and they were saying something good. I just misread it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I just, I just like, oh, my bad. I'm my keeping bad. that because I said some good stuff. I'm just keeping yeah, it. But right? I want to know. I'm sorry. I apologize. But you know, it's all it's all in good fun at the end of the day. It ain't like you know we know these people. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I actually gained a couple friends on Facebook uh, because of my retorts back to them. Like, uh, I have a Charles Br Brukowski mm -hmm. saying as one, as one of my favorite quotes, which is uh, "Find something you love and let it kill you." It's, yeah, it's one of my favorite quotes. Right. Um, because I believe that. Right. Well, I didn't put uh, in quotes, and I didn't put it like Charles Brukowski. I just figured everybody knew that's what he who who said that. Everybody knew that. Right. So this lady starts going off on me because I put some like I, like I was making fun of uh, Amy Schwimmer. Right, who was begging to be made fun of? Right, right? and I, <laughs> I compared her to a beached whale or something like that. <laughs> All right, so at outfit she wore, man, it was it was awful. It was crazy. It was awful. Yeah. So this woman goes off on me for like three paragraphs, just and it's good stuff, just going off on me, and and you're plagiarizing the the Charles Brukowski, blah blah blah, and just going on and on and on. And I went back to her. I said, well, um, first, what I said up there is just a joke. I said, second, and I say this because I mean it. There are a lot of decaffeinated brands on the market that are just as tasty as the real thing. <laughs> she, she came back and she was like, "She was like, all right, that made me laugh. We got to be friends." Yeah, and you know, you know, I, I, that's that's how you do it, and that's that's the great. Like, long as you have a great comeback, it's like really they end up feeling silly that they really went that because if you drive and you type that much, you really risk your life to get this point. Yeah, across, right. And you don't even know me. Second, if if. You really sit and took the time to get this point across to me, and what if I never looked at it? Like, right. do you get satisfaction out of it, or, or what? So, a lot of times, what I've started to do, if they write a long paragraph, 
I just simply come back. Um, I'm not reading all that shit. Uh, it's just a joke, <laughs> and that was it. Like, and I just put an emoji next to it, and, and they'll end up liking it or laughing at it or something. It's like, yeah, man, I get your point, but I ain't reading all that shit. Like, yeah. you, you talk too much right now, man. <laughs> right. We're telling jokes, you know. <laughs> too long, did not listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. And I, I try to tell people, man, that we treat social media in a sense like our stage, you know yeah. what I mean? And it's kind of like if I'm on stage, you're not going to stop and be like, hey, and talk a paragraph worth of, of, of re- oh, retort no. to what we – no, you're not. Right. So it's like I know you're in the comfort of your own home, but at the same time, this I'm not on your post. Mm-hmm. You're on my post. Right. And, you know, you kind of got to respect the guidelines. Everybody's just different, and we and, <laughs> and I don't, what comes with it. And I don't think a lot of people do respect it. I think they think they have license to say whatever the hell they want to say yeah, on man. there, you know? Yeah, man. I, I've posted videos and people have inboxed me. I think you should take this down because <laughs> I, I did. Uh, I got a video series that I do where it's called Steezy the Interpreter. Where oh, basically, yes. you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I watch you know, that shit all but the for time. the people that don't know, it's, it's basically <laughs> where you know it might be something like like Fergie, for instance. Uh, when Fergie messed up the national anthem, I basically had my 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 image post up in the corner. And I did the sign language interpret, interpretation. <laughs> the funny part about it, I don't know how to do sign language. That's what makes it funny, <laughs> you know. And I post those videos all the time. And somebody inboxed me and was like, well, I just don't think this is cool because my little brother's deaf. Okay, time out. Am I responsible <laughs> that this motherfucker can't hear it? Like, it's yeah. not my fault. Yeah. I don't even have nothing against him. Like, what? Plus, what? you can't even hear what we're talking about right now. What are you mad at? Like, <laughs> I'm going to cover my lips. You can't even read nothing. He's done. <laughs> like, kind of like the NBA players do after the game. You know what I mean? Right. Just cover it up. Like, you can't hear nothing I'm talking about right now. Man. Cuts your ass out. You it's, don't know. It's crazy, man. That's, and it's like, I have to, I have to fix. I have to, it's, social media has made me shy away from things like the messenger. That's why when y'all message me, I be so delayed. I'm like, man, I need to check my messages. I don't know who done wrote me, you know what I mean? Right. And I end up looking, and I'm like, damn, I done missed 10 messages. But in the midst of the 10, it's 15 bullshit messages, you know right. what I'm saying? Like, uh, Larry, you're a son of a bitch. Like, what? <laughs> like, I mean, it, it's like I've kind of grown to ignore my, my, my messenger, you know what I mean? And, sure. And because it, it gives people who probably need help the ability to talk to whoever they want to. Sure. So they jump on and, and being that my page is public and I'm sure that, you know, some of y'all pages is public. My and, page is public. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I mean, because we want to we want exposure. Yeah. That's what we're here for. You Absolutely. Know what I mean? right. So, you know, that that puts us subject to all levels of, you know, whatever's out there. You know right. what I mean? So um, I have to I have to. I have to check my messenger more and just I've gotten good at ignoring stuff. Yeah. I, Cause I've, I've fried people and roasted people in my inbox <laughs> to where nobody saw it. Like I've done that. I've done that just well, as that's a waste. That's, no, you that's know what, what you, I mean? And I'm like, man, I should have kept that man. Like a yeah. screenshot it and post yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, man. But it, it's, it's, uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's, it's fun, but you know, you gotta, you gotta kind of keep a meter on it. You know yeah. what I mean? Well, we both know that. People aren't going to say this to your face. They're no. hiding behind a computer, yeah, right. you know, yeah, and yeah. it's easy to sit there in, in your pajamas and just write whatever crap they want and thinking, well, you know, Larry's not going to do anything about it. I'll say whatever the hell I want. Well, trust me. I mean, has anyone ever come up to your face and say it? Not never. Not exactly. Never. And, and I welcome that. Not, exactly. on, not on some less fight type stuff, but I just like let's, let's, uh, let's find the middle ground on this. Sure. Mm-hmm. Because one, you'll realize that I'm actually a cool dude. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, secondly, you'll realize – I bench 315. You don't want to talk this. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Favorite, favorite Larry uh, Starks moment. We're at a, we're performing at I already a, know what you're going to say. <laughs> we're performing at the uh, sound bar. And uh, Larry's up there. He starts, or the sound bar, for those of you who don't know, is a gay bar. All right. So <laughs> Larry's up there. He starts doing a friggin' uh, your, your child, uh, child, uh, child, support, yeah. child support set that he does. Yeah. And he catches himself. He realizes, okay, nobody in this place has child support. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, well, I'm gonna keep doing it anyway because you're not gonna laugh. At least I know I can fight. You know? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, I can fight. You know, so at the end of the day, he uh, said that shit. And I fell out. I was like, that's <laughs> funny as fuck. It was, you know, it was some people. I always like, I always like comedians that that teeter the edge. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and make it humorous. And it's like that's so brilliant to me because it's offensive. But the person you offending is laughing. Right. You know what I mean? And and I I did that once. Um, I said on Facebook, I said I rode past 
the Pride Parade and it smelled like duty outside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and people and people was upset with me, man. And I'm like, it's funny. It's like even funny. if you're gay, you can respect how funny that is. Right. Like, yeah. I mean, it's a joke. You know what I mean? <laughs> like for real, if I didn't have my kids with me, I probably would have stopped and try to get something to eat. You know what I mean? Right. Like I know you got some business. <laughs> I'm, I'm secure enough in my sexuality to where I can go and buy some food from a gay dude. Just no yeah. hot dogs. No hot dogs. No, just, no. Just no hot dogs. No <laughs> hot dogs. Just, you know what I mean? <laughs> None at all. That's fucking awesome. So uh, what, what's next, man? What, what's the next thing you want to see uh, happen with your career? <sighs> then, uh, what's next, man? Um, right now, at, as you know, you know, but for the people, it's like um, coming up in April, it'll be one year that I've been basically full-time comedy. Wow, you know, uh, and I'm I'm seven years in, you know, basically full like going stand up, you know, right? I mean? um, and within the year, I, I didn't expect for me to, you know, just go full time and quit my job and stuff was going to take off. Like I expected a struggle, which you know, stuff happens. But I think now in in year two coming up, I think I need to pursue more of uh, a physical instead of the internet presence. I need to more of a physical presence. Sure. But it's just it's so hard to get in these clubs it and is. venues when they don't know who you are. If you got a cosign that speaks volumes, you know, oh, of course. Yeah. you know, if they if they respect somebody and that person they respect cosign you, then that automatically puts you through the door and the rest is history when you hit the stage. Like I'm like we all know we ain't got to worry about the stage part. Right. The stage part is if I get on stage, I'm a rocket. I ain't worried about that part. It's just the fact that having these people trust you enough to let you get up there. Right. That's that's the thing. So I'm trying to um I'm trying to find that avenue um and and get more on um just more stages, man, more work, you know, cuz I'm I'm this is the full-time thing now, you know. Yeah. Uh the only thing keeping me afloat is side hustles, you know what I mean? There you, and, go. <laughs> you know, the side hustles and I mean it's cool. I expected it. I prepared for it. I knew what I was doing. I, before I even made the decision, I had talked to my family about it. Yeah. Talked to the wife, talked to the kids, talked to my mom. And the funny part is my kids was like, what you waiting on? I'm like, whoa, okay. Y'all, y'all really, okay. <laughs> yeah. You know, because if that, I don't think I never would have went full time if they really didn't agree with it. You yeah. know what I mean? Because I didn't want to be selfish, you know. Sure. But, uh, more more stuff, man. Um, And in 2018, I've I've done just that. I've been kind of reaching out. I got uh, accepted to the DC Comedy Festival. Nice. Uh, so nice. I'm doing that in April uh, on the 10th. I'm going to do the DC Comedy Festival. Um, also, I did something that I campaigned for myself, which was 30 videos in 30 days. I didn't make it public. I didn't let nobody know because I didn't want to put that kind of pressure on myself. Sure. You know, with kids, stuff changes within mm-hmm. minutes. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? So it's like I just wanted to make sure that I could put out content on the net every day for 30 days. Nice. And uh, I did it. It was a lot of work Monday through Sunday. It was a lot of work. But at the same time, it was so crazy because I was attentive to what was going on in the world. So the world was giving me so many ideas that it wasn't that difficult to find something to do a video on. Nice. So I felt like if I could do 30 videos in 30 days, then why can't I put out three videos a week consistently? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And in the midst of me doing that, um, three of the videos did over 200,000. Wow. Um, Majority of them did 10 to 20. Um, and in the midst of me doing the videos, my Facebook page got suspended. Um, <laughs> for seven days. Of yeah, you know how that goes. But what they don't realize is I got a second Facebook page because I was getting suspended so often. Mm-hmm. Um, I got a second Facebook page just to kind of keep me keep me fresh. You know sure. what I'm saying? So uh, I was posting all the, vid- the rest of the videos on my fan page, but that killed my regular page algorithm. Yeah. So instead of my videos doing hundreds and hundreds of thousands, it was going to like, you know, single digit thousands. And, you know, what I mean, it, it really wouldn't as as potent. But that's just part of it. Yeah. I really wasn't doing it for the numbers. I was doing it just to get that out and to, to see what it felt like, like the response. And so when I made a video, each video I will post on my YouTube, um, depending on how long it was, I'll post it on my Instagram. I'll post it on my Facebook and my fan page. Nice. So it was going to all four of those. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, <clears throat> it, it it was cool. Like, it, it, they all got good response. It all worked well. It was, it was you know, I, I loved it. So it lets me know that it is it is no reason that I can't knock out a video. I, I don't care if I'm not at home. I can make something in the car. 
you know, uh, <laughs> two I, two o'clock in the morning at a gas station. It, exactly. <laughs> yeah, the like life people, is good. <laughs> people, people, I told Josh that Josh don't man. Listen, this this is the grind. This is the grind. Like a lot of people, if you see me do a video in my car, nine times out of ten, it's the middle of the night, and it might be two, three in the morning, it might be four in the morning, and I got to wake my kids up at six. I, and and the thing is, the gas station got the best lighting. I don't want to be in the house screaming, hooping, and hollering, you know, waking everybody up. <laughs> right. So I go to the gas station. I go in there, and I got to tell the people at the gas station, like, hey, I'm in here shooting videos, man. Don't think I'm out here trying to case the joint, you know what I mean? Because I did it once, and dude kept walking around. and kept looking at the car, kept looking. And I'm like, man, let me let me go ahead and, uh, you know, let him know what's going on. And then I did the videos in the car, and now they know when I pull up, they know what's up. They ain't really worried about it, you know what I mean? And that's just kind of the stuff that it takes, you know what I mean? And, yeah. and so – with that, with that theory of the 30 videos in 30 days, I know it ain't nothing that I can't do as far as how many videos I want to output. I don't care if it's seven videos in seven days, 10 videos. It's, I found formulas to put it out. You know what I mean? Like yeah. a lot of people, like say we shot this, right? And you would think, you know, if you wanted it out today, you had to edit it and then put it out. Um, me, I might shoot five videos in one day and not edit one until the next day. But the next day, I'm not shooting anything. I'm just doing all editing. So now my mind frame is strictly on editing and not, you know, doing the videos. You know what I mean? Gotcha. So it's like you got more clear conscious. You can knock them out. And now you kind of stockpiling videos at this point and post them at your leisure. You know what I mean? So yeah. um, 2018, man, is, is, is it's been good so far. Um, I'm trying to make it better. You know, it's, it's just the grind because it's, it's more comedians out there than it is rappers, man. I mean, oh, yeah. it's, I, I didn't realize until I got in it, man. Like, it's a lot of comedians, man. It's true. It, I mean, they got old comedians, young comedians. They got elephant comedians, dog comedians. It's all types of people telling jokes, See, when man. when he said old and elephant, he looked at me. I don't know. <laughs> was, <but laughs> I, look, I looked at you as well. So don't <laughs> feel too bad, buddy. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, it's, it's, it's a... Uh, it's a tough game, man, and, and I made a. <laughs> <laughs> you looking at me now, <laughs> asshole. It's a it's a tough game, man, and, and I made an analogy, man, because you know me, I, I came from the hoods of Lexington, Kentucky, man. I, I was grew up in the projects, all of that, and I made an analogy, and that was so my people could understand. So I made drug references because they'll get it faster. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but <laughs> but the analogy was this. As far as us in the game, because even though I'm seven years in, I'm still relatively new to these guys this 20 and 30 years in. Right. You know what I mean? And uh, it's like, I put it like this. Like, we see, let's just throw a name out there. Throw a name out there. Uh, Pauly Shore is here this weekend. Pauly Shore, right? Right. So we see Pauly Shore as being successful, mm -hmm. right? So success is a kilo of cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> That's so my people can understand. Success is yes. a kilo of cocaine, right? <laughs> okay. So I see me, you know, I see myself as like a quarter key of cocaine. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, okay. I see myself as like a quarter key of cocaine. The thing is, even though that's a kilo and I'm a quarter key, you know, you still get the same high just for the cheaper price. Because mm. I'm not as big just yet. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's still, you're still going to laugh. If you see my show, it ain't. It don't mean you, you're you not going to laugh as much. If you saw Pauly Shore, you're going to laugh at my show, too. Of course. It's just you know. You're going to laugh a lot more. Yeah, you're going to laugh a lot more. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's just kind of like, you know, it's 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 a, it's a it's a good reference to use. And a lot of people got it. It was like, oh, that's right. Yeah, okay. I <laughs> but I feel yeah. like I would laugh a really a lot more if I did, you know, have a kilo of cocaine. <laughs> 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 Just saying, It'd be a lot happier. I'd be a lot happier in my life, probably, than I am right now. We got we got goals to work towards, guys. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's all they are is goals. They're just goals. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's it's just man. Um, we just got to get the people to understand, man, that uh, you know, we we funny. We just as funny as the other guys. They just been doing it longer. You yeah. know what I mean? And now they might have tactics and technique that is just brilliant. You know, and they've right. learned that through the game, just like we learning through the game. That's it. And um. It's, it, it just they gotta they gotta grow to us because we we get a bad rep when we get some guys to go up there and they just absolutely bomb and when they bomb that's a representation of us as well you right. know what I mean so now they don't trust us they don't they don't trust our judgment they don't trust nothing that we're talking about you know what I mean so it's kind of it's kind of um it's I enjoy being underestimated that's I think that's why I, I enjoy it so much you know you go into these venues and it's all these people looking at you like what is this dude gonna say. Well, you know, what's, what's really good is you featured here 
right. many, many a times. You've even headlined. Right. Yeah. All right. Thanks to you guys. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, that guy. Uh, Making I, moves. I, I'd, I'd, I'd have you do it in a heartbeat, too. But it was that one time <laughs> no, here he was because no. of him. <laughs> He's, He's the man. So full of shit. Just kidding. <laughs> He's full of shit. But it, it, the fact of the matter is, is that you are trusted here. And, it, you know, it, right. word will get out. You know, someone's right. going to call Jordan one day and say, hey, you know, Larry Starks wants to come do feature work. What do you think? And Jordan's going to say, oh, yeah, I have him feature here all the time. And boom, that, that's going to happen. Yeah. You yeah. know, you, you're one of the guys in this area that's it's going to happen. And Appreciate that, man. No, I, I, you, you know, you've got sure. to drive the determination. Your set's funny as shit. And uh, you, you're, you're definitely going to make it, man. I appreciate it, and, man. I mean, what were you going to say? Well, I was going to say, and also doing these festivals are going to really help. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. And networking. I mean, because even I went to one, right? I've gotten accepted to one. And the guy already told me, he said, anytime you want to do this festival, every year, you're in. I mean. Can't beat that. You can't beat that. So he threatened him with a bomb. That's well, well, no. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you're giving away my secrets. No. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's networking, you know, and yeah. going to DC is going to be good for you, and you're going to see. Yeah, yeah, I you mean, know, and I, I've done um, I've done a few festivals before. I've done a Laugh Fest in Michigan and mm-hmm. all that type of stuff, and I just kind of make a trip out of it. Like, hey, let's, let's go take a trip. Let's go out of town and get to perform while we at it. You know what I mean? I've I've been on a spring break vacation in Carolina and got in Carolina Comedy Club. Like, there you, you know go. what I mean? Like, got to feature, and he asked me to come back. I'm like, well, I'm on vacation. I just wanted one, you know, one show, but you know. Um, it, it, that networking, that networking is big in them festivals, though. Absolutely, definitely, Absolutely is. Yeah. definitely big, man. Well, uh, aside from being really nervous of the fact that Ish has a remote control there that's blinking, um, really, this again? Just, <laughs> Jesus, I'm really scared at this point. Uh, <laughs> I was waiting on y'all Six to go. Months. I was waiting on Ish to go to commercial break. Like uh, this ad has been brought to you by Pantene Pro V, as you can see my. <laughs> My illustrious curls. Uh, <laughs> I didn't always have these curls, buddy. No. no, thanks to Turkey, he has those. So. Uh, yeah. That's still one of my favorite videos that you have on Starks TV when you talk about the celebrities' hairlines. Oh, oh yeah, I absolutely love yeah. It. I saw that again like the other day. Have yeah. you seen that one? No, I got. He's making fun one. of Jamie Fox. He's making fun of. Yeah, uh, that that was. Um, I did a, a collaboration with All Def Digital. Yeah, and, you know that's Russell Simmons' platform. Right. Sure. Um and. Um, what what uh what they did is um they took my video and gave it to their super editors like these guys are tv worthy editors you know what i mean nice. so mm-hmm. i was excited to see what they was going to do with it because i gave them bare bones and that's what they right. told me to give them so they sent me the finished product and i'm like holy shit like they made this look like it's way you know that's it, awesome like it's it looks super good super i mean how many views you got on that I don't hit know. a million yet ah uh, one of them did. I did several videos with RDF Digital, and I know one of them did 1.6 million. Yeah, nice. Um, the hairline one, I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, I, had, I had another video um, do a million of my own, though, from Facebook. It just, it just, uh, that was one of the uh, the dad alarm videos where I wake my kids okay, up. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I saw that, did that a one. Million. And a lot of people, they see it do a million. They're like, oh, man, yeah, man, you made it a million. And I'm like, no, that's just numbers. It's not really anything. Right. Like, the, the hardest thing. The hardest thing to do is to get something to grow mm-hmm. and then keep it growing. Yeah. It's hard. Like, it you is. know, because you don't really know who's watching what. And then now they got this algorithm system in place and it throws everything off. Yeah. Like, it their, throws it their system all off. sucks. I hate Facebook. Yeah. It's, it's bad, man. And, and if you're not buying off. ads, they'll, they'll bury your stuff. Yeah, that too. And, and the ads really don't do nothing for they you. They don't do you shit. Get, you get impressions, you don't really get yeah. clicks. Right. Like, you'll have 3,000 impressions in. 15 clicks like that's right. really not worth anything you know what i mean like that's just a waste of it's just a waste of uh waste of time you know what i mean but yeah. uh it's, it's it's hard to maintain you know that that uh once you get them up there and you got a whole lot of people looking at stuff it's hard to maintain yeah, it, man. 100 percent. yeah, yeah. It, it really is. i mean are you at least getting any type of advertising youtube i mean um, hopefully by now you're getting something i mean Keep i mean i growing. get youtube i get youtube revenue all the okay. time okay uh, i've been getting you youtube revenue for a while not a lot but it's you know it's revenue it's more than i had so it's, right. it's cool right. but uh at the same time I, I got contacted by i did the video on the taco bell nacho fries oh, oh i saw that yeah yeah and I they mean, mentioned you in that Instagram yeah like and um and, and uh food network they asked for your the, permission yeah, yeah yeah they they uh they hit me up and I mean, it wasn't like it was profit or anything, but it's just like I don't care. Food Network hit me up, like you know, that's that's, that's awesome. A, yeah, yeah, that was that's awesome. a big thing. Um, another video I did, um, I did it to a song of somebody I used to listen to in high school. 
a rapper I used to listen to in high school. And somehow that video got in his hands and he ended up posting it on his channel. And I'm like, how big is that? That this guy, like who I listened to in high school when I had a bike, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> right. like this guy was, you know, playing my stuff and Yellow Wolf gets on there and comments and man, this guy's crazy. He's going, you know what I mean? And it's like, that. that's cool. That is it's, really cool. Yeah, it's cool to get that, that kind of uh, exposure. And I don't think it's, it's, it's as hard as we make it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, just like y'all doing this podcast, um, it's like some weeks may do better than other weeks, but that's normal. Like that's not yeah. a that's not a bad that's not no. a bad thing. No, it might it might be a super low listening month. So we yeah. still gonna put this content out because the one thing that's gonna happen is somebody's gonna like one podcast and then listen to like five random ones and be like these guys is legit. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? And and that's just how it goes. Like I, I've uh. You follow uh, Gary V? I do. Yeah, I don't. Gary V's like a entrepreneur, motivational speaker type of guy, man. And, and he said he's just like, you know, he has these seminars and he asked some people some questions. He was like, uh, what do you want to do um, as far as, you know, blowing up and being successful, whatever? And they was like, they want their social media to be popping. And he's like, stop paying attention to the numbers. He's like, as long as you feel like what you're doing is great. The rest to come by itself, you know what I mean. Hmm. So it's like that's kind of like us telling jokes. Yeah. It's like okay, this club that joke might not have hit, but I've told that joke five times and it's destroyed. So yeah. I know it's not a bad thing. It's just mm-hmm. I just keep telling it. You know what I mean? Keep yeah. going. Just like with the podcast, this podcast ain't shit. But even though, nah, <laughs> 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 no, nah, it's just it's just man, it's just all in the ground. It's just keep going, man, keeping the movement just, alive, man. I was watching for him to reach for that remote. <laughs> What you say? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to do the Sylvester Stallone roll across the room. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to have to wrap this up. Listen, uh, <laughs> Josh is getting scared now. No. <laughs> Matt Belisai is here uh, on Thursday at Comedy Off-Broadway. And so Polly Shore will be here on Friday and Saturday. So be sure to check that stuff out. Also, check out Larry Starks, Starks TV, uh, Absolutely. YouTube channel. Uh, his Instagram, which he's building back, his Facebook page, obviously. Yep. And uh, you can check us out tomorrow night. We're going to be at Rose and Jim's uh, throwing some comedy around. So that'll be a lot of fun. Nice. nice. Yep. Yeah. Hey, uh, just StarksTV.com or just Google Starks TV or Larry Starks, man. And Boom. all my stuff will pop up yep. if you're trying to find it. Um, or just type that in YouTube, which is what t- I do. Yeah, and yeah. you just see yeah. all those videos. Pops I love it. It pops up, man. And the coolest thing about YouTube is you type my name into YouTube and it's people watching my videos doing reactions. To oh, my yeah. Videos. I've seen it's that. Like, that's cool. Like, that's, yeah. you know, that's pretty cool. But I wanted to tell y'all before y'all wrap up, man, like, I like what y'all doing. I like the consistency of it. Mm-hmm. I like that y'all took the time out, man, to set this up, rent this equipment, and take it back every day. I like now. <laughs> 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 no, I, li- I like what y'all doing, man. I-, I love it, though, for real. And uh, y'all got to keep it up. This ain't my last time on this one, man. I Absolutely will be not. back. You Hell will yeah. be back. I will be back. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and y'all keep it moving, man, especially on the stage, too, man. Well, we appreciate got, it, man. We got to keep pushing each other, man. Oh, be yeah. Great. Absolutely. That's a fact. All right. You got anything else, Ish? No, I'm good. All right. Well, for Larry Starks and Ish Lodge, I'm Josh Sharp. You guys have a great night. Thank you, Larry.